Greetings, YouTube. I am so thankful for my subscribers because it turns out that my speakers disconnected and I recorded two videos today that had no sound, which is beyond embarrassing and totally not worth, of course, your viewership. Uh, Coal Lives Matter was nice enough to donate $4.99 while I'm saying this to literally the cause and also uh, sponsored this week's crystal openings for daily specials, which we will be opening before the end of this live stream. So I am going to spend this time to re-record those videos and to apologize every once in a while. Um, by the way, my new computer is back-ordered. It's on its way. It has been paid for, but it's a new iMac that none of them have shipped yet. They're supposed to ship in mid-June. So once that gets here, I should not be, hopefully knock on anything that's wood, be having the problems that I'm having uh, just getting basically audio connections to hold, video connections to hold, and hopefully it'll even do a better connection job of holding my internet stream. But uh, in the meantime, let's, since we have audio, talk about uh, today's offers because... Uh, sorry, buddy. We're not doing uh, incursions right now. But uh, because right now, when you look at... Uh, the ISO 8 selector bundles. Hey, if you need ISO, this isn't the worst offer for you in terms of like the ISO itself. The interesting thing is that it's a Cavalier offer and yet the amount of gold that it gives you and 200 units is not like, you know, a dollar, right? If you were to buy 200 units, you would... uh You'd be spending, I guess technically you'd have to spend 10 bucks. You'd have to get two Peter Parker's wallets for $10. So if you were going to buy one of these, you would get, and I know it's more than 200 units, it's technically 270 units, but you have to buy two Peter Parker's wallets. So one of these Cavalier specials for Cavalier players only, and the new arenas aren't even like that, uh, you'd have to spend 10 bucks. So $10 going way back to 2015, $10 should get you at minimum 100,000 gold, 100,000. And that's not an amazing deal. That's just retail price. But today it gets you, and I get you can sell the tier six class ISO, but that's not why you're supposed to go after ISO. You're supposed to go after ISO to rank up champions. Today you get a dollar worth of gold. $10 price, $1 for gold. And it limits 15, and 200 times 15 is 3,000 units, right? So you can spend 3,000 units, which I know it's 100 units short, but we just call that an Odin to be easy in the game. An Odin worth of uh, units would only get you $15 worth of gold. You'd be getting $85 less gold than normal. Now, my good friend and fellow mod of the channel, Greg, and I have talked about this extensively since the new arenas hit. Because if you are somebody who's like me and has a 100 plus six stars and 40 plus 565s, you might not think there's a gold problem right now in the game. In fact, you might not be affected at all. You might actually feel like you benefit more because you don't have to be jumping around as many arenas. But there are so many uncollected players, there are so many Cavalier players even, who don't have that extensive of a roster, but now have to jump into these six-star arenas, which take, yes, to get all of the milestones in both 13 and a half, 15, 16 and a half million points or 33 million times two. And if you have mostly rank five, four stars or rank three, uh, five stars, you're not going to be able to keep up with the infinite streak. You're going to be spending a lot more work to get a lot less milestones. I know people who are so proud and rightfully so, if they can just get the new featured four star to get to 9 million. 9 million points is a lot of points for a lot of people. And so because of this, you used to just be able to get all the milestones easily in the 2-star arena, in the 3-star arena, and in the 4-star basic, and even the 4-star featured arena. Well, now all those are crammed into the summoner trials that don't give you the same in terms of gold and battle chips and units. And so 
It's actually harder now for the average player, especially the average free-to-play player, to generate as much gold in arenas as before. So, uh, Matt P Pinnell here comments, I need gold like I need air. That's what Kabam is hoping that you will need. Because since the buffed rates for Cavalier Crystals, it's a lot easier now to get 5-star champions, 6-star champions, and even Nexus Crystals to a certain extent. So Crystal Shards don't have the same value that they did uh, even six months ago. But the value of Awakening Gems, the value of Signature Stones, the value of Gold especially has gone up. And we have never seen until today, especially for a Cavalier offer, a more pathetic amount of gold than literally $1 worth of gold for $10 worth of units. And yes, that means if you were to buy 15 of them and spend $100 or 3,000 units, yeah, you'd get some Tier 6 ISO. I'm not saying that's not good. Tier 6 ISO is good. But you'd be getting $15 worth of gold for $100 worth of cash. So, this is absolutely a nightmare when it comes to free-to-play players and uncollected players and even some Cavalier players trying to generate as much gold. And that's what Kabam wants. They want the economy of the game to shift to have there be uh, a lot of champions in your roster. You could open uh, $200 worth of crystals, and you could get some great 5-stars and even 6-star champs, but if you don't have the resources or the gold to rank them up, it's not going to matter. And so you're going to be more desperate to take advantage of trash gold offers like this, because make no mistake about it, the gold basically doesn't even exist in these. It's that bad. And, of course, uh, the weird thing, too, is for 80 units... It's 50 cents worth of gold. Now, 80 units is less than half of what the Cavalier price is. But for Conqueror players, you should still be, for 80 units, probably getting at least 50,000 gold. And you Cavalier players, for 200 units, you should get at least 100,000. But really, closer to 200,000 gold. But this is the reality of the game now. They're trying to be a lot cheaper when it comes to supplying gold offers because the demand is there. If you get great champions but can't rank them up, you're desperate, and that's how they make money. I'm not saying they shouldn't want to make money. This is a for-profit game, but at the same time, this is a really, really, really uh, bad way to do it, especially with these kind of offers. So uh, that is the end of rant. Sorry there was no sound on this last video. We have re-recorded it. We have deleted the previous video. We'll be throwing this up on YouTube very soon.